Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm C.B. Harris, and I'm here with Yoki Marks at Warrior's Edge Armory, and we're going to be starting May's topic, I guess, for Thursday's tactical tip. So what we're going to talk about is competition, different firearms competitions, and how they can help you in your pursuit of, you know, self-defense. How can, what can you learn from these different sports and these different types of competition that will help you when you're out and about and you need to have or use your concealed carry weapon. So today we're gonna to talk about bullseye, correct? Yes, we're gonna talk about bullseye shooting, now, there are hundreds of options out there for different disciplines in shooting. and You start breaking down pistol shooting and you have multiple large organizations that all offer something with a little tweak to it. Right. Um, but today we're going to concentrate on one of what I think is probably a, an underrated sport, which is bullseye shooting. A lot of people, especially now with the tactical craze going on, people want to... You know, it's all about self-defense. It's all about combat accuracy. And I think that's a term that people use when they can't get rounds close enough together. Like, that's oh, combat accurate. That's all I need in combat. Right. And while that is true in a lot of self-defense situations, a lot of defensive use of a handgun, stuff like that, I live by the adage of aim small, miss small. If I'm aiming for the button on the bad guy's shirt and I miss by an inch, then it's still a good shot. But if I'm aiming for his torso and I miss by an inch, I totally miss my target. That's right. And truly, bullseye is, for fundamentals, There's I, I don't think there's anything that is more, I, I guess, that teaches it more. Because if you don't have your fundamentals down, bullseye will definitely show you that you don't have them down. That is true. And for those of you who don't know what bullseye shooting is, it is the ultimate mastery of the fundamentals of marksmanship. Right. Uh, typically, it uses three different guns, correct? Yes. Uh, there's, there's, they use three guns. Uh, it's, it's not a three-gun competition, though. It's all handgun. They use a 22, mm -hmm. so 22 long rifle, that's a rim fire 22. Then they're required to use a center fire handgun. It has to be, I believe it's 32 caliber or larger, but center fire. And then a 45. Uh, typically, people use the 45 for both the center fire and the 45 category, but they're shooting at some serious distances 50 yards, one handed, and the target is eight inches. That's the bullseye. Uh, the X ring is going to be even smaller than that. I'm not sure the exact size, but that's a, that's some serious distance. And if your fundamentals are off, you're going to definitely know at that distance that it's off. Yes, and I personally I shot in a version of a, a bullseye competition, um, the NRA PPC, mm -hmm. and they deal with you start off relatively close to the target. You're about ten yards away from remembering the course fire correct, and you shoot. Five shots, two-handed, and you have a certain amount of time to do it in. It's a long time. Right. And so you knock that out, you look at the target, and you're like, cake. But then by the time you've shot at the 20, the 25, the 40, and the 50, you are, you're this, the slightest deviation in your breathing and your trigger pull and your, your whole gun is moving up target. You can barely see the target anymore. And that's where it's so important to master those fundamentals. And bullseye shooting and that type of competition, yeah, you may look at it and be like, so I've got one minute to shoot five rounds. That There's no purpose for that in self-defense or in tactical, a tactical environment. Right. For those of you who watched the, watched the television series Top Shot, if you watched it and saw Brian Zins, he is the top of the bullseye world. And he did quite well in a competition that was not bullseye. It was a lot of other different types, a lot of um, run and gun type things, and he did quite well in that as well. He is, uh, I, I believe, a dozen times that he has won the bullseye championships. He is a master of fundamentals too. So that's really where it comes down to is 
do you have the fundamentals to do bullseye? Now, I'm not saying that you know you need to go out there and you should try to be Brian Zins. You should be better than him. That's a good and lofty goal, and if that's what you want, then that's great. But get out there and try it. Maybe you'll like it. Maybe you'll say, you know what, I'm going to use it to get the fundamentals down, and then I'm going to move on to something else, and that's fine as well. If you have any comments, leave them down in the comment section. And if you're not a subscriber and you'd like to become one, click on the subscribe button and check us out on social media. Be sure to check out our other videos. We come back every Thursday for another tactical tip. Until next time, take care and be safe.